And it's not all. It's not all. It's these wanna be hot girls. It's not even the hot girls. It's the wanna be hot girls. Wanna be hot girls. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They just, I just feel like they want too much. Thank when if if she's not a if she's not a girl that wants a Birkin bag or wants you to go buy the same chain you got on or go buy the same watch you got on or something, okay. then it's a girl that wants you to be in a relationship with her. And if it's not that, it's a girl that's trying to get a kid out of you. And if it's not that, <laughs> feel me? Wow. It's a girl that's trying to line you like too so much of these girls, bro, like these women. Free my little heart, the gym, she will boom it up. I start getting used to bugs. Fuck the wrong ones, this bitch in the club will fuck. I start getting way too much. Starting to think this shit. Hey, what's up, y'all? We got a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we got a special guest. Bada TD? Yeah, we still, cool. we still keep the TD? Or? Nah, you can just say Bada. Oh, we're gonna change, we're gonna fix that. Actually. I was gonna say, like, we, so you're gonna, gonna change that later? Yeah, like. Maybe in like the next year, within the next year, 2022. 2022, for sure. I'm gonna just keep it as bottom. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But for copyright purposes, purposes, you know, gotta keep it Heard you. Okay, so what people I don't know, tell them where you're from. I'm from Flatbush, Brooklyn. Um, yeah, born and raised Flatbush, between the 30s and the 50s. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, so you call yourself the Prince of Flatbush. Why, sir? Because, like I said, the 30s and the 50s fuck with me, 40s fuck with me, the 90s fuck with me, like, the whole Flatbush fuck with me, like, okay. Flatbush is a place, like, I ain't gonna lie, it's just like anywhere Very else. Very separated. Yeah, anywhere else in Brooklyn, like, it got like, mad inner beefs, feel me? Okay, yeah. Like, mad inner beefs, like, we're not yeah. really gonna talk about right yeah. now. Yeah. Okay. But in, the, in between those beefs and shit, like, everybody fuck with me. So all for just, all for just me, like, my energy, me, because... Mm -hmm. Flatbush is also a place where like everybody know each other. That's why like, yeah. everybody got beef. So feel me like most of the man them like I grew up with most of these niggas. So you know what I'm saying before there was a flag or any type of color. Right. Yeah. How you feel about that now? Like niggas you grew up with, everybody grabbed like a flag and now it's oh I can't fuck with them and how you feel about that? I mean, I be talking to certain like the man them and it's just like I can't say that about it. Feel me like. I'm gonna tell you, like, you know what I'm saying? Try to avoid all problems, but if a nigga play disrespect, like, you yeah. already know what's up. Feel Do me? you feel like it was worth it? Like, do you feel like all that, like, color, picking sides and shit, is it worth it in the long run? Like, do you feel I mean, like Flatbush winning right now? Like, nah, nah, it's not worth it, because we could make millions. Like, mm -hmm. niggas in the hood really don't see how much money you can make. Yeah. Not even in just music, but like anything. Like yeah, I want to say, but you got that plan. You young, you got into the music scene, see the money coming from there. Yeah. Right. So like, I mean, for the people that's watching from Flatbush, like, what would be your advice to them? Um, if they want to get into music and trying to stay out of that political shit. Basically, just stay down to you come up. Type you shit. You gotta just stay on your grind. Worry about yourself. Mm -hmm. you, know what I'm saying? you can't follow the next man or worry about what the next man is doing. You gotta worry about your back, okay. your own breath. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, how this nigga sleep at night is not how you sleep. Whether he sleep good or bad, yeah. it don't determine if you sleep good or bad. You feel me? So mm -hmm. you gotta create, you gotta worry about yourself in this shit. And that's just in life itself, not just music. It's in anything in life, you gotta focus on yourself. So a lot of people talk about how like New Yorkers like don't help each other up. Like, who's some artists you see that's working that you'll be like, yeah, I fuck with this shit. Um, for sure, for sure, <laughs> Christian flocking. Okay. Um, for sure, for sure. You know, Bronx niggas or anything. Shout out yeah. to Bronx niggas. But all of them. Shout out all of them. <laughs> shout out all of them. All of them. Don't pick a name. Just all of them. Um, my son Cash and Sarah. Okay. I gotta check him out. Cash and say he just dropped a video. Where you from? You from Flatbush? Yeah, yeah, like he was born into this shit, like RPG. Like, it's, that's not really. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna get into that, but <laughs> tell me before we even get into that, like, that's a family. Okay. Family is more than a gang, it's more than any of that shit. Okay. Like, it's a family. You consider it a gang if y'all family? Like, it is family. It's family. Yeah, so it's family. not a gang. Nah, it's family. Okay. It's family. So, what does that stand for? What does that mean? 
That's the family to be announced. Okay. You know what so when, when can we get that announcement? When the album drops. Album? Yeah, when the album drop, I'll do a whole little fake documentary, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I seen you did a doc. I did, it was, I was a quick show too. on the, but I want to do like a real one, like go in depth, because like, my life, the people around me life, like, mm-hmm. this shit's a movie, homie. Okay. <laughs> this shit is a movie from the beginning <laughs> to now till after this shit, this shit is a movie. So, okay. I want to do like a real documentary, like, on some like two, three hour shit, like that you really got to see in the movies, but mm-hmm. obviously I got to become a bigger artist and shit. So, so you think remember. right now, out of all the stuff you did right now, your doc will be two, three hours? Bro, just, just, just. All right, that gotta be interesting. Right now, I'm saying, cause you, I, 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 I you how old now? You how old now? <laughs> I know. I'm just saying. Ain't started using. How you know? How you know? Bro, I seen your interviews. Oh, cause yeah, nah, nah, nah. cause girls be jumping in my DM like they bro, I'm like twenty, he, twenty. His T, he did an interview five months ago. He was seventeen. Last time I seen him, he's like, my birthday just passed, so. Yeah, right. facts. What's the saying? Facts. Like, don't do that. So, um, oh, bitch, you need DM saying yeah, what? They be thinking I'm like 20, 22. I, like, the other day, a bitch told me she, she thought I was 23. Wait, I'm like, what you nah. said? I told her I was 18. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I be telling bitches sometimes like, yo, 19, sometimes like, I pull off a 20 and show they a little older and she, mm-hmm. feel me? Do bitches even care? They, 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 they just don't care. I was gonna say, it's at this point, at this point, I realized bitches don't care. <laughs> at this point, what was realized. What was that experience when you were seeing like, bitches don't give a fuck? Um, <laughs> yo, <laughs> CJ can tell you, CJ can tell you, CJ, I can't see CJ on camera, but CJ can definitely tell y'all. Yo, it, well, was, it was a club, it was a nah, studio. Like, Let's get tell y'all too. Boost, boost right here, y'all can't see him, but it was it was Cali. Like I don't know if you see I'll be in Cali or like, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Shorty was like, damn, I wanna say she was over like she was over twenty eight. Okay. Over twenty eight, twenty nine. Cougar. She was a cougar She was she was, she was a milk, I know. <laughs> you feel know I me? Mean? She was a milk. But we was in so Cali. You took it down? We was in yeah, bro, I'm kinda cool. <laughs> I think this is. You gotta, I'm just you gotta know. Certain people don't know till they really understand. Like mm-hmm. I'm Chinese, Guyanese, and Jamaican. You okay. realize what girls? So you got girls, bitches in any language. Like you, mm-hmm. you understand how girls get when I say that shit? Like, they like <laughs> and they can't say I'm capping either because you see my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good with the other other languages, bro. But nah, fucking um. So yeah, you said to be announced, you get announced that when the project comes. When's the project coming? Um, 2022. 2022, no deadline. 2022, just 2022. Yeah. It could be the beginning, it could be the yeah. middle, it could be the end. You know okay. what I'm saying? Just 2022. But your project, Prince of Flatbush, is out right now. Yeah. You got Voice of Doug, Rowdy on that. So, how did the um, Voice of Doug link up come about? Um, basically, my boy Mayor. <laughs> Basically, um, the nigga came and picked me up from my crib one day in a sprinter van. Like, he okay. literally called me, like, where you at? I'm like, in my crib. Mm-hmm. Nigga said, I bet, stay there, I'll be there in 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I bet, because name man normally got gas. Like, he always got Zah from Cali. Always, <laughs> okay. always. Because so, okay. he always back and forth. The best of the best. Facts. This is before I was going to Cali. <laughs> okay. And shit. So the nigga pulled up. And a sprinter, big time sprinter. I'm like, what the fuck? First time I've ever been in a sprinter, so How old were you at this time? I think I was I was sixteen. Oh yeah, that's late. I was sixteen. 16 sprinter. Yeah, I was yeah. sixteen, facts. So nigga pulled up in the sprinter, I went in the sprinter. So you recorded this a while ago. This was the year July twenty twenty. Okay. Like, yeah, July twenty twenty facts. So you was holding it specifically for this project? Yeah, I was holding it for oh, my wow. first tape. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, okay. But the nigga, um, we went to Jersey, like, he was, hey, the driver drove to Jersey and shit. Mm-hmm. I realized, it, and I'm like, what the fuck we doing in Jersey? Okay. Went to the studio. So I'm like, oh, studio, all right, lit. Uh-huh. But before I recorded this shit, he started to play beats, and he was like, all right, bet. You about to record a song for 42 Doug and Tusi. Give mm-hmm. me the two hours. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> I said, so, like, I paused, I'm like, what? But I'm like, all right, bet. So, all right, so okay, 16, the pressure's only got two hours. What was you thinking in that moment? I wasn't. I <laughs> Play the beat, you let's, ready? Let's see what happens. Play the beat. Okay, so was you satisfied with how it came out? Did you want to do it over? Like, how was nah, that? Nah, like, I, fu- I fucked with that shit. Like, 
Okay. Off the off the, off the right? Yeah, like cause the first beat he played, I don't fuck with it. Mm-hmm. Like Family is cool, but it's not something I wanted to hop on. But okay. the second beat, which is that I feel like a boss beat, once mm-hmm. the shit started playing, you know what I'm saying, like in the beginning, with the the, the little beat tag and shit. <laughs> okay. Like those beat tags began me, like I fuck with it. Okay. Like if you got the right beat tag, your beat could be it. The wholesome beats tag, like wholesome producers you fuck with. Um, Boy Fifty, Startup Season, Baby Breeze, um, Emerald. Yeah, um, that's sure. yeah, that's my boy. I just linked up with him the other day in the studio, Justin Rory. Really? Oh, Justin, come back out the cut. Yeah. Okay. Chill. <laughs> I don't see something on the way. Something on the way. Okay. Okay. So um, yeah, everybody doing all these sample beats now. How you feel about this? Um, I fuck with it. I ain't gonna lie. I did one the other day, but I ain't shoot no video to it. I did like three the other day. You gonna hold them? Yeah, I don't know. I wanna shoot one, but one of my guys with my son Guap and my son Kush. So, okay. feel me? I gotta, okay. we gotta find time. Okay. Shooting this shit, but yeah, I fuck with them shits. All right. So, are you signed or are you independent? I'm signed. Okay. Happy so, birthday. how did you know that this label was for you? Because everybody's like getting offers and calls, and I'm sure you have as a negotiation. So, how'd you know Epic was the label for you? Um, just the way I like, I, I fucked with Sylvia, Sylvia's Energy. Mm-hmm. I'm saying that's the lady that signed me, Sylvia Ron, on mm-hmm. the Epic. But I fucked with her energy. She like, like the conversations we had. Like, I had conversations with everybody, but everybody made it seem like it's about just business. It, it is just business, feel me, but the com- like the way her energy, like I could see like she actually like cared and shit because she, yeah, she was on some like, oh, I got to get you out the hood, like fast. Like that's why mm-hmm. kind of all this shit came quick. I was so like, it was more of a life changing thing yeah. like, on top of what the music. On top of the music. I mean, it's business, business, it's business. Don't get this yeah. shit fucked up. So I was about to say, at that time, he's probably in school. School was lit at that time. So. I was in school, but like... <laughs> At that time, it's so funny. It's like everything happens for a reason. Mm-hmm. Like I was in school, but like I was on some shit. Like if I go to school, I'm leaving. It's seven periods in school. I'm leaving by like fourth period. Okay, so you was on like half a day of school. You feel me? I'm leaving my fourth period. I gotta go. Right? So you want to promote your music at school? Yeah, I mean, niggas fuck with me at school. You feel me? Like yeah, so, okay. I don't have to. Be Not there, old be promoting it, but like nah, they're like my shit in coming to school. They're like, yo, that shit you just dropped. Nah, in school, because in school it's like you ju- I was just starting, oh, okay, okay. so I had to make sure like I grabbed your phone, <laughs> like if we in the hallway <laughs> or in class, we got a substitute teacher, so I gotta grab your phone and put my put my YouTube in there. Mm-hmm. After, so how many phones show. you sitting on right now? Yo, boots, I'm <laughs> 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 All right, so I, when- gonna lie. I think like because the other day uh, when I went to um LA, I was I went to the studio I go to out there and I just told him like check my songs and shit because mm-hmm. I just be wanting to check sometime and out there I got a hundred and like twenty two. Okay. So is- like so how do you go back to your old songs and be like I'm gonna pick one of these shits to drop? Oh now my old shits, you- my all my old shits is gonna come out. Not not the not every single one. Feel me? Not mm-hmm. the first. I was song. Like, how do you pick which one? It just gotta feel it. You gotta, cause like, you know music is a mood type of thing. So yeah, facts. Like, well, like like the EP, those are all like fake old songs. I ain't gonna front. Okay. But yeah, you saying Voice of Dove was three years ago? Yeah, yeah. Not not three years. Twenty twenty. It's twenty twenty one. So you like, were sixteen when you recorded that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it came out last year. Yeah. <laughs> that was a minute ago, no? Same shit, same shit. Not three <laughs> years, not three years. Three years is a try. All right, but. two, two. You was on it early though. That's good. Yeah, facts. facts so facts. ain't bad. So it's like, how do you know? So what's we're gonna be the vibe of the new the new project? So you got old stuff. You're recording new stuff. You just say you did some samples. So yeah, like um, what can we expect? Right now, I'm just like the last two songs I dropped. Um, got the gang and the song I dropped yesterday. Listen, mm-hmm. those are two songs that's like recent, recorded them in October. We in mm-hmm. November now. Now nah, that's December first. I'm bugging out. <laughs> yeah. I'm bugging out, but um, I'm I'm gonna drop a couple more singles and okay. then I'm, you know what I'm saying project a little crazy might come. On project. Project might come. All right. Um, any collabs? Maybe. Yeah, definitely for sure, for sure. 
you know, with her Kush and sure, sure. one, could go with another one, got another collab with Tuck. I gotta run a similar feature. I like to just be brand new with shit, but yeah, I gotta run a similar feature on the way. Justin Rory feature, you know that. Alright. Anybody else from New York? Um, for now. Or that you wanna work with from the city? Um, for real, for real, I'm not even gonna cap because of the way New York is. Mm -hmm. I'd fuck with anybody that fuck with me and anybody, and it has to make sense. What would be, what do you mean make sense? It has to make sense. Like, like, like I'm not about to do a song with a nigga that's just, just started. Ain't just, nah, 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 I don't wanna say that, cause I do a song with my dogs that's just starting and shit. Okay. Me, but I'm not gonna do a song with a nigga that's just in his shit, screaming UK or GDK. Okay. Feel me? Uh, this shit K, that shit K. Like, we gotta keep this shit about the music. About the breath, the back. Feel me? So long as they're not dissing people. Yeah, as long as they're not dissing people or our shit, we can do a song. Okay, yeah, cause I see you linked up with Rowdy. Yeah, feel me? Like, and that's another thing too, like, my pop, especially with my pops, like, Free Yellow, like, everybody he fuck with, like, that's, that's, that's fake the Crip sign. I go from all the older niggas, from the block, everything, mm -hmm. they Crip. Feel yeah. me? So I'm easily I'm locked up with the Crips for life. Feel me? Good. I'm not Crip though. Okay. Feel what I'm saying. <laughs> got it. But yeah, I got I got I fuck with loyalty. Loyalty okay. is what I fuck. With. I don't fuck with. I don't I don't respect no flag. I mean I respect. You know what I'm saying you okay. as a man type shit. All right. I'm about to say. So what's your favorite song you made so far? The last song I just dropped. Listen. That's your famous song that you Listen, made. The so old that far, I made. That's out right now. Oh, that the people can hear. Favorite song. Yeah. Listen. You still say listen. Listen. Just confirming. Just still. Yeah, listen. my favorite song out right now is listen. I bet. But everybody else like got the game. Okay. But my personal favorite. Listen. And listen why? Cause it's it's like it's a different tone. Like you're not you're not used to hearing me like that. Like you've never heard me like that. Yeah, type shit. Right. And what yeah. do you feel like is your most slept on song? Um, do you feel like you spend a lot of time on and people just kind of sleep on? Um, people gotta. It's a song. It from, it's a song from like remember. two years ago. It's called Unknown. I know. I know. Yeah, facts. Okay. And that's out on Ocean Club? Yeah, it's out, it's out. Alright, my favorite song is Certified. And you say you're way too certified for hoes. What does that mean? Like, way too certified for hoes. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Nah, because, listen, man. Like, this is, we, right, we, we're we going to be here for a minute. I ain't going to Like, girls, like, not even young. I can't say young, young girls my age. Like, okay. even older, like. Women in general. You know what I'm saying? And it's not all. It's not all. Okay. It's these wannabe hot girls. It's not even the hot girls. It's the wannabe hot girls. Wannabe hot girls. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They just... I just feel like they want too much. Want when if, if, she's not a, if she's not a girl that wants a Birkin bag or wants you to go buy the same chain you got on or go buy the same watch you got on or something, okay. then it's a girl that wants you to be in a relationship with her. And if it's not that, it's a girl that's trying to get a kid out of you. And if it's not that, <laughs> feel me? Wow. It's a girl that's trying to line you. Like, there's so much of these girls, bro. Like, these women, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even gonna call them girls. There's too much of these women. It's way too much. They, so it's, you believe you're way too certified. I'm too certified. So that's what that means. So you said five. You're not catching me with none of that shit. You're not catching me with none of that shit. Any other shit I just named, you're not catching me with it. Okay, so yeah. so you're gonna say you're gonna be single for a long time. Um, yeah, <laughs> basically what she's saying. Or no Birkin bags for these bitches. <laughs> yeah, there's no Birkin bags for these bitches, but. I'm gonna say, what, what, could, how could a girl get a Birkin? Like, how could a girl get a Birkin from Bobby? Like, what's um, the, what she gotta do? <laughs> how could a girl get a Birkin from Bobby? <laughs> you see? Let me think. Because, back in the back of my mind, like, I just see on some Kush. Get a his girl a Birkin yesterday. Okay. Feel me? So you see in the back of my mind, I be sometimes I be like, damn, so why why one girl just couldn't 
Finn, why won't girl just gonna be bad? That's what I'm asking now. For the people, people that's good. good. How like, can they, like, what is she? She gotta be beneficial. She gotta be beneficial to me. And, I'm, and I mean that in like every way possible. Like, I gotta be able to wake up to breakfast. That's one. Now, this is a little stuff. This is little okay. stuff. She gotta be able to do hair. Cause it's filming. <laughs> um, fuck it. She gotta. So you just want a full package. She, she got hair. hair. Everyone else, fuck, fuck. it. You, know you want a nail tech and a hairstylist? Fuck it. Why not? Wow. Why not? Okay. I mean, high I mean, expectations. Like, but he said girls got high expectations. Great. But look at this. Great hygiene. You know already. That, that's, yeah, that's, that's inevitable. Good. Yeah. Great hygiene, um, good sense of humor. Cause I, I hate those bitches that's just like always just. Dipsy. Yeah, like they always act like they on their period. I hate that shit, bro. Moody. Bro, I hate that shit. What's my dad? I hate that shit. They, <laughs> nigga, sir, I'm like, my man's they be like, oh, those bitches got the best pussy or whatever. But, bro, I can't take that. Like, if a girl's just sitting there all day in the car <laughs> or just sitting or with you all day and she just like. What do you think? Is that the best kills from attitude females? They be, they be good. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's always better. It's, it's always better. It's always so, better. we should answer the question. How could you get a break? You're saying nail tech, you're saying hairstylist, you're saying. She just, she just gotta come with the full package. Full package. And she can't be fucking no next nigga. Like, okay. that's, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. Full so package. I gotta be all yours. Nah, nah, nah. nah. That's, I'm not even done. I'm bugging. Can't be fucking no next nigga. Full package. Hey, and, this bitch gotta know how to make bread. She gotta know how to make bread because nowadays, I like what the young ladies are doing now, the nail techs and the, the lash techs and the, oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that shit, the, the hairstylist, the, 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 what we have called the moi, the makeup artist. The moi. I seen that shit, I seen that shit, I seen that shit, I girl the other yesterday, so, feel me, that's why I was on my head, but, um. M-U-A, makeup you know artist. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like it, they get their little LLCs, this is good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Would, you, <laughs> would you help a girl get her LLC? Yeah, you wanna get an LLC, I'll help you out, you know what I'm saying? But we gotta be. We're gonna be making money together. You gotta know this thing. Got to know this. Okay. So she gotta be promoting your music behind you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be promoting her shit. You know what I'm saying? We. Okay. We can figure it out. But other than that. So you with it, so you with it making it out the mud with a girl? Yeah, if she got her head on the swivel and she like, she not no, she not no waist gal. That's good to know. You're not looking for like bitches that's crowded. But it's, that might not be right now though, because <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like I said, I'm 18, so you're still figuring out life. Yeah, anyways, that's not really on my mind right now. <laughs> so on your mind currently is your project, 2022. What yeah. else can we look forward to 2022? Number one, number one, like my nah, family is number one. You know what I'm saying, and my other half number one because not number two is this fucking money. Okay, it's money. That's the main focus here. Like, paper hmm. without this thing it's not even just cash feel me because it's credit over cash nowadays yeah but money cash is good too you know for so long term yeah make us talk about nfts you yeah know that? You know what I, mean? I, I wanna actually do one like i had um my boy todd kramer okay. he actually did an nft for um meek the other day oh Feel me? So, um, so yeah, I was talking to him about it, but I'm not gonna do it just yet. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna wait till I get lit. Yeah, I'm gonna get lit. lit. Work I'm gonna wait till I get more lit, and then yeah. feel me? Cause I've been at a point where like I don't know, like I don't know if you noticed. Know after the project, I didn't really drop nothing, and then before the project, I didn't really drop nothing. Yeah, you dropped videos for what was on it, yeah. Yeah, like but before the project, yeah, I did. The last one I probably had was like. Four or five months before that. Bankroll, I think. Yeah, it's bankroll. No, bankroll public, public. It's public. Public. Oh, okay. public. Facts. Oh, matter of fact, I'm bugging. That's my favorite song out. Bankroll? Yeah. That shit? When bankroll. I. He was on First Eight Views, I believe. Yeah, yeah. That shit, that shit was, that shit was it. But, um, so, listen, no longer the favorite. See? Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't, because I didn't think about it like that. Because I'm just thinking about the recent shit and the shit yeah. I'm actually about to drop. But, yeah, I gotta, I'm gonna just start dropping more, and then hopefully this shit go up. Not even hopefully, this shit gonna go up. Mm -hmm. This shit's gonna go up. So what's like on your bucket list? Like, what's how many goals right now? Um, basically just be bigger as an artist. Get bigger as an artist. What does that look like? What does that sound like? Um, more radio, more. More everything. More, like... more billboards. More, more awards. More. Everything, more views, more streams. 
Yeah. So, so we do the end of the year award show. We do like categories and shit. What category do you think you would fit in? What you feel like you was good at this year? Um, you gotta name the categories for me. Bro, no. Nah. <laughs> you got to. Like, I don't know what's the category. Like, uh, I can't like just... most improved, um, most consistent, best. Definitely not most Best consistent. male artist. Um, that ain't too old. You don't really do nobody. Um, are you getting so much for a duo? You should look for a duo in 2022 too. Duo 2022? Yeah, facts. Mm, okay. New York artist? New York. Alright, cool. Bro, I'm not gonna go through the whole list. Forget it. I thought you was <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just, just put it like. You could put two. You could put best male artist. Right. And, and you could put most like slept on artist. Most slept like, on? Underrated, I guess? Yeah. You could right. definitely put that. <laughs> definitely put that. Okay, you feel like you're underrated? At least, at least in New York. Do you feel like you're underrated because you're not political? Partially. Yeah, that, that, that has something to weigh in it. I know it does. You feel like that? You feel me? Yeah. Because, like, New York, like, the music today, like, how a song pops right now, mm -hmm. is if you diss somebody, dead man. You know what I'm saying? In New York, that's only in New, in New York. That's though, that's the wave in the city. That's the whack part. This shit, shit is crazy, bro. Shit is crazy. Yeah. So, so you're not with doing that to get. I'm not there. I'm not. I'm not like. I'm not. I'm not an Instagram nigga. I'm not an internet nigga. Like, you feel me? If you say you really, really like that, like, show you really like that. Like, what the fuck? Why we got? Why you gotta show? Showing it for the feds and this, that. Like, like the the problem is. These young niggas don't know about the feds. That's the problem. See, like me, I, I had so much people in my life that went through the feds. Just feel me? Like I know about. I've seen too much indictments, so I know what's up. So I'm not about to be. Like, know that that's coming. That's yeah, I'm not on Instagram or Snapchat or or Facebook or Twitter or none of this shit. This niggas dead man's none of that. I'm not putting mm -hmm. dead man's in my song. If you say you got a problem, say you got the problem. <laughs> See what happened. But. Yeah, bro. Niggas ain't doing that. That shit is corny. Cool. Right. So, but I feel like all that will come to pass. Whatever will happen is what will happen with them, and then you know, there'll be other artists on here. So, Are you plan on like staying in New York, or you plan on like leaving? Um, I definitely plan on like going to LA. Like, for sure, for sure. Doing like, music out there for real, for real. Yeah, for real, for real. Don't start making Cali like. No, 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 no. I'm not on that. I'm not on that. <laughs> I'm not right. I'm a New York nigga wherever I go. That that's something I, I realize now, like that I don't know. When you know. people go to other places, you might start adapting, start trying new Yeah, shit. I'm not with that. I'm cause I'm not really I fuck with LA, but I'm not really with their vibe like right. they like no disrespect to Los Angeles, but they just corny. They, they <laughs> just corny. <laughs> niggas just corny. You got good Mary store out there, they not using it. Like Okay. A Mary store be empty out there. <laughs> the other day I, I came I came from LA the day after they opened a Mary store in New York. Mm -hmm. So feel me, I went to go, Yeah, I went to go check it out. Bro, well, I said I'm not waiting on no line, you crazy line almost rapping on the corner, I'm not jacking that. I'm not jacking that. It got the same exact shit I just seen. In LA, no line. Just wanted to see what it was like. Yeah. Yeah, but turn turn to a project for sure. All that good stuff. Um if you had to give some advice to upcoming artists or to the people watching you, what should they look forward to? Or what would you tell them? Um, basically, just know what you want out of life, and then yeah, know what you want out of life, and just do everything in your power to get what you want. Feel me? Don't let nothing get in your way. Good or bad. I'm saying always try to do the right thing though. Always try to do it. Always try to do it. Try. Feel me? There's certain times in life where... You feel after Yeah. You feel after So, tell people where to find you, where to find your music. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Body the Dumb. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Body TV. I'm on all streaming platforms. And yeah, look out for the project on the way. Listen out now. Yeah.